Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, Genet tutorial, my name is George and today what we're going to do is that we're going to make a sparkle test uh, with Jenna. So in the previous tutorials uh, we managed uh, to make our own uh, FOV uh, file which is an uh, RDF file and contains some information about uh, people and uh, people we know. For example this file over here uh, contains uh, for example my name which is uh, George and it has a title, a given name and it also says that I know other people for example over here uh, we can see knows that means that uh, I as a person I know another person called uh, John and I also know Mary and Charlie so these are uh, people uh, declaring this RDF file semantically and what we do over here uh, in Jena is that uh, well first of all import all these uh, well classes over here uh, we're going to be using some queries and the RDF uh, models and literal and um, also the file manager so we can import this file and once you uh, have this imported into your folder just uh, what we're going to do is a method called sparkle test and the first thing that you need to do is that you need to load your RDF data into a Jena model and these uh, two lines over here basically that's what they do we first uh, load our file manager and this uh, with this file manager what we are doing is that we're loading this file this uh, RDF uh, FOV file into a Jena model and the model basically it contains all the data that was declared using the RDF uh, format and stores it over here so we can uh, query this uh, model and we will know uh, the information that it contains now now we're going to use uh, some sparkle and sparkle is relatively um, it's relatively simple uh, the thing that you need to do now is that you need to add a segment of your query as a query string and over here I have uh, my prefixes which are RDF and FOV that are the two ontologies uh, declared in this language it's FOV and also a little bit of RDF over here and then we're going to make the query and in the query I'm saying uh, select everything all the data where a person has a name so the name here this uh, person and and x these are variables and basically and basically the person uh, is a variable we start variable uh, with um, the question mark uh, sign and uh, it it is only specifying that it needs to have a name and uh, that's it we're not doing anything else once we execute the query with uh, this code over here this code is based on an example uh, that I found on GitHub. I'm going to leave, uh, leave it in the description of this video so you can see those examples. And uh, basically, what we're doing over here is that we are uh, making a query execution on this model, or, uh, that means this file, using uh, this query. And the query is basically this uh, string transformed into a uh, Jena query which uh, we can execute and then we can get some results and the results uh, when we get results uh, we use this string and finally over here in case we have some uh, we catch some errors so we get results and then uh, we uh, get a solution from these results where we are going to look up for a literal L the literal literal is basically a variable that we uh, included on the query. For example, this x over here, that's the literal, and we can print it. For example, it will be the name because we're specifying the name over here. Just run the code, and we will see that we can find these names in this file. Uh, why do we find four files in if in the fourth uh, fourth matic we declare only myself because I know other people for example I am George 
over here and I am a person with a name but I also know Charlie and Mary and uh, John so these people is here in the file here is John and here is Charlie so we can find them too now what will happen uh, if I wish uh, to include more uh, information over here for example I can also do a filter I will type in here filter and then we'll say okay a filter where x equals and let's say John and if I put John over here uh, in this query I will only get uh, John as a result so let's just save this document and run it over here and we get John because we're filtering the X variable so the, uh, we will get only names that uh, are equal to John and we can also do uh, a lot of um, uh, some more kind of things for example we can uh, query people that knows for example Mary so I'm, try I'm going to try to uh, query people that knows Mary so in this case the result should be me it should be George over here but the way to do that uh, is uh, this one so first we query we look up for persons like people that have a name but right now I'm going to look up for people that knows some other people for example person 2 and now we end this uh, section with a dot over here so we're looking for people that knows a second person and this second person should have a name or something else for example we can type in now person 2 should be named by Y so this is Y over here and we can filter that that Y is equal to John so in this case I'm looking for anyone who knows John uh, by using this query over here and just go ahead and run this program and I should get myself so that's pretty much how uh, semantic uh, queries with uh, Sparkle works I hope you guys find this tutorial some, um, a little bit useful I just wanted to show you how to use Sparkle uh, with uh, Jenna and we're basically querying this file over here but obviously this file can be a lot a lot bigger and you can uh, query more people maybe you can declare more uh, data for for Charlie or for John and say that uh, Charlie and John know uh, uh, other people so you can make uh, your database more complex and that um, by doing so uh, this course will become more interesting so this is a way of uh, using Sparkle now remember when we use this prefix over here it's because uh, this file is uh, in the using the FOV uh, friend of a friend ontology and also the RDF ontology but basically uh, what you can do with um, Jenna is that you can uh, use uh, you can query uh, files uh, in different formats and also using uh, different languages uh, or ontologies in this case if I create my own ontology for example uh, I don't know George ontology and we create a prefix and so you can query like that and mixing uh, different ontologies so I hope you guys uh, find this uh, once again useful uh, please comment below or, sub or subscribe to my channel I know my English is a little bit rusty but I hope uh, this will be useful so you can uh, learn a little bit more about how to use uh, Jenna and Sparkle and uh, how to understand uh, RDF and all this stuff so see you later bye bye